I'm Kevin. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we got the original OG uh, Sherman. Uh, it's when you turn it on, it's um, if you move forward, it starts to vibrate. It uh, sounds like it's coming from the motor or something is loose. But we're gonna check this out. Let's have a look. So here we are. So the uh, the Sherman's here. But when you turn it here, there's no problem whatsoever. But when you turn it on and you start rowing it. It makes a funny noise it's all shaky clink clink noise okay so we got open up the compartment and see and uh, and test it so the, just checking the bolt and they seem to be very tight so they're not loose at all so uh, on both sides it's tight so it's not loose so let's turn it back on and see if it makes that noise okay so this is the problem with the Sherman let's turn it on So it sounds very, uh, it's a lot of noise coming from the inside. I uh, might have to look up closely, open it all up and see what's causing that. Okay, so the motor is out and let's zoom in. Uh, yeah, so uh, this motor here, uh, the only thing I could think of is causing that vibration is the, uh, the axle nut is loose. So what I need to do is tighten this uh, the axle nut and then that should fix the problem. Uh, the other thing is uh, checking the motor cable. Um, you see there, um, the blue one seems to be all right, the motor cable. And let's check on the green one. So that looks okay. And check on that, ah, so you can see, there seems to be a little breakage on the yellow there. So the only thing is protecting is this uh, hit uh, wrap. Okay, so you see all the Sherman motor, they start to have sign of, uh, you know, breaking off because of the heat of the motor. But this one should be okay for now. Um, yeah, so we're going to change the tire because the uh, customer requests to change the tire. So I will do that and then uh, tighten the bolt, put it all back together. It should be okay. Okay, so it's all, all been tightened, all put back in. And again, the fuse connector here is loose, you can see there. Yeah, that, that is loose. Okay, so this one hasn't been checked. Okay. Okay, so the axle bolt has been uh, tightened. So that noise is gone now. So it's come on. And, um, you know there, see? All gone, and also the new tire has been aligned and it's perfectly aligned. Perfect. The only thing is the beeper is not working. Okay, so uh, next one we have the uh, pattern, uh, Libikin pattern, and this come in with the problem of the uh, uh, knocking noise on the suspension. So I believe that is probably uh, loose nuts. Uh, so let's have a look. Here we go. So this is the uh, problem with the pattern. Uh, let's turn it on. And see there. Always oh, that's the, uh, the the control ball noise. But we if we move the uh, pattern.
so I can actually feel it goes down when I press down. There, click. Okay, so this is the uh, problem. And let's open up and uh, have a look inside. Okay, so uh, the battery has been removed. So first we're going to check the uh, the bolt on all this uh, holder, see how tight they are. So the first four bolt with a bracket uh, is quite loose. So this one, so we've got four there, so that was quite loose. And now we've got the second lot. Okay, so uh, the one that holds the bracket onto the uh, the wheel itself are those four big ones. So let's see how tight they are, those ones. So I've got the uh, big one. This is how tight this one is. So we're just turning it. So so that's so you see it's quite loose. It's not even tight. That's terrible. Yeah, yeah. So all four bolts are quite loose. Uh okay. So I need to take it out and then put some knot thread onto it. Uh, okay, let's remove this uh, poor little screw. So again, that's quite loose. So this uh, nuts is actually from the manufacturer itself, which is uh, it comes like this and it's quite loose so anyway i'm going to remove them and then tighten them up okay so the four screws are they're not very strong but they're okay uh, you know they should have designed this a little bit more thicker so let's lift that up and there you are so that's the uh, pattern motor cable comes out of there for silicon seal into there and uh, it's got a little rubber seal on the bearing there. Uh, that stops the water going in. And again, I mean, this is uh, aluminium. So you can imagine so the thread is aluminium. So I suppose if you do it too tight, the thread will uh, sort of like uh, break. And then you end up with a motor with no thread. And that will be even worse. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't really like this design because um, what they should have is uh, reinforced steel in there so the boat can hold tighter but having aluminium sooner or later those threads will go uh, so it's tried best you know uh, when you tighten it they got to be tight tight enough with the lock thread to lock in and uh, not too tight otherwise uh, the thread will go so you got to be very careful uh, putting the screws back on today.
Okay, so the bracket is back in and tightened up. So again, um, I noticed that you've got to be very careful with these uh, screws. Uh, these are not the high tension screw and this clamps the suspension rod in place. So uh, you've got to be careful when you tighten this. Uh, I mean, uh, otherwise uh, replace those screws with a high tension torque screw and uh, that will give you a bit more strength. But then again, the bracket itself um, don't know how strong the steels are or alloy, but you gotta be careful when say basically when you tighten this, just tighten it enough, but not over tighten, otherwise it will snap the thread. Okay, so gotta be very careful. You gotta tighten it just right. So you turn it so you can't turn, but don't force overturn it. So this is the uh, uh, four little screw holding the clamp for the suspension. Okay, so just to recap <clears throat> how many screws there are on the pattern, okay, to do this. So those are the screws you need to remove. <laughs> okay, one lot, two lot, three lot, four lot, five lots. So that's the amount of screw you'll be looking to remove. Okay, so uh, after it's been tightened, the, uh, the suspension uh, bolt, uh, the axle bolt, the clamp, and this is... Uh, what it feels like okay perfect so there's no more noise now nice and solid so expect uh, if your pattern is rocking about then you know what to do is the bolt on the uh, suspension clip okay you gotta take it all apart and tighten it thank you for watching mm -hmm.